Hey there, I am Ben, YouTube's other 3D printing nerd, and welcome to Hexagon 3D. Today, I'm going to be making a tripod mount for my cell phone, and this tripod. Let's get right into it. Alright, so today we're going to be making a phone mount for my Nexus 5X cell phone, and this here tripod which I've had lying around the house for years, not sure where it came from, but I know it's got a quarter 20 bolt on it, and uh, having converted that to metric, I can now take it into Fusion 360 and make, hopefully, a functional part. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by creating a sketch. I want a center rectangle on this plane, and I want this center rectangle to be 22.2 millimeters squared because 22.2 is 8.2 plus 7 plus 7. Now I want to have a 7 millimeter border all the way around the phone, which is going to be shaped, the piece is going to be shaped like this, by the way, kind of like a, a backwards letter C. Um, I want to have a 7 millimeter border all the way around the phone, and the phone itself is 8.2 millimeters wide. So when you total that all up, you get 22.2. So I've got this shape, and now I'm going to stop the sketch and actually create another new sketch on the same plane. And this time, I'm going to create a center diameter circle, uh, not there, a center diameter circle from the center point, this time, that is 6.35 millimeters wide, 6.35 being a quarter inch in metric. So, I am now going to come back to my home position here, I'm already there, and I'm going to look at my two sketches here, I should have two of them, yes, that's correct. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is extrude sketch number one here up 15 millimeters. So I'm going to type that in, 15, return to home, there we go. And now I'm going to come around to the bottom here and use the extrude tool again to make a cut, this time a 5 millimeter cut, because 5 millimeters, using the depth gauge on my caliper, is what I figured out the height of that bolt is. So next, I'm going to go to create thread and this is how I'm going to create the thread that the bolt will screw into. I'm going to click on that face right there and it's going to automatically uh, draw in a thread for me. Now settings over here are kind of important for this part especially this checkbox. You want to have modeled checked. I believe it's unchecked by default. You want to have it checked because otherwise it's just going to look like there are threads there and when you try to export it out it'll come out as just a cylinder and that won't work. So you want to have modeled checked you want an isometric profile for threads, for the uh, thread type, 6 millimeters on the size, and M6 by 1 for the designation. So you can click OK once you've done all that, and you have now got a perfectly functional quarter inch thread that our tripod will go into. And this is compatible with any tripod, by the way, that uses a quarter 20 bolt, which is a standard for most tripods. So, next. Coming back to home here, I'm going to go to my front view here and I'm going to start creating the uh, actual C shape that we're going to extrude out to create the part. So I'm going to use a two-point rectangle here on this face. I'm going to start out by creating a rectangle that is 22.2 millimeters long and 7 millimeters tall. Remember I said I wanted to have a 7 millimeter border all the way around the phone. Also, 7 plus 15 comes out to almost 22.2. So, I figured that was a, a reasonably square thing to do. So the next thing we're going to do is a two-point rectangle right here that's going to be 7 by 7. You can see that's going to make the back part of that C shape, which is going to come up like that. Um, and the next one is going to come from this corner, and it's going to be 7 millimeters across, but it's going to be the height of the phone tall. So in my case, that is 72.6 millimeters, according to my caliber. Oh, let me try that again. Forgot to hit enter. There we go. Now I can come all the way up to the top, and I'm just going to essentially make the first two shapes I made down at the bottom again, but this time inverted to create the top part of my C shape. So, place my first point there. I want this to be 7 millimeters tall by 22.2 millimeters wide. And then one more two-point rectangle right here, 7 by 7. So we've now got this lovely backward C shape that the phone can slide into long ways like that. Alright, so let's now go stop the sketch. 
Use my selection tool to make a selection around all of these parts, except that bottom square there. Return to my home position here. And use extrude to make this a solid instead of a sketch. So I'm going to go to direction here and go to symmetric because it's I drew it in the center of the I drew it in the center of the object and I want it to extrude out in both directions. And then I can drag that out and dial in. Or actually 14 millimeters looks quite nice, so I'm gonna go with that. So there you have it. We have now got this functional uh, part that I can now send to the printer. So let's export it by going to make, making a selection around that, refinement high, don't need to preview the mesh, don't need to send to a 3D print utility, and I can now make a make a folder here for my STL and call this foam mount order 20. Alright, there we have it. Let's send it over to the printer.